creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I am bringing to you my most requested DIY video ever. Yes, when I say ever, I am not kidding you. This video got over 500 requests. Yes, 500, that is mind blowing to me, but it did get that. What is this for? A pastel Easter tray. That is just what I'm bringing to you today. I have never had a video so requested in all of my time here on YouTube, and this was definitely one of them. Last year, I brought you an Easter tray, and that Easter tray was in the colors of orange and green and brown and cream. It was a real rustic Easter. And since last year, I have gotten so many requests for a pastel one, a more traditional colored Easter tray. And a couple weeks ago, I asked everybody if they wanted one and I got 500 comments saying, yes, please bring a pastel Easter tray. I can't wait to show you what I've come up with for this Easter tray. It was one I wasn't super excited about because pastel colors are just not me. But let me tell you, oh boy, is this tray ever stinking cute. And I think you're absolutely gonna love it because I ended up loving it. So I'm gonna quit my Gavin. Let's jump into it and let me show you these quick and easy DIYs that are pastel for this 2022 Easter tier tray. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Before jumping into all these quick and easy DIYs, I'd like to start off by showing you the colors, the theme of this tray. Craft Smart is a lot of the paint that I will be using because they had a lot of the pastel colors, the pinks, the blues, the purples, the greens, the yellow, and then I think I even went with a vanilla. The only color outside of Craft Smart that I did mix on my own was the orange. I need a pastel orange, so I'm gonna make my own out of Hello Hobby's pumpkin orange and some of Waverly's white chalk paint. For this first DIY, I'm gonna be using these wood Easter spring ornaments that I got from Dollar Tree last year. These were in my stash, thank goodness. It's amazing what organizing your craft stash does. You know what you got. So I'm gonna use the bunny, the carrot, and this egg. Taking some Mod Podge, gloss, matte, you choose. I'm gonna give these ornaments a nice, good coating of Mod Podge. This is the base coat because what am I gonna cover these with? Can you take a guess? Yes, burlap, of course. What else would I cover these with? These are actually scrap pieces that I kept. I do keep my scrap pieces because look, this size is perfect for these ornaments. And so you never know when you're gonna use them. I just put them in a Ziploc baggie and keep them and one day they come out. If they don't come out for years, then I end up tossing them. Once I've got my ornaments good and covered up with some burlap, I'm gonna go in with a second coat of Mod Podge over the top of that burlap to really adhere it onto the ornaments. And it's also going to stiffen that burlap so it makes it easier to cut off the excess burlap from around the ornaments. I will tell you from my experience, when you're cutting off that excess fabric, especially burlap, it is easiest if you do it with a nice, fresh, sharp blade one, it makes it easier, and two, it's gonna give you those nice clean edges along your wood piece or whatever piece it is you're covering. There's gonna be no fraying. I want my ornaments to stand up, and I found the easiest way to do that is to use some of Dollar Tree's cubes and the Jenga blocks. So just by standing your piece up, then gluing the pieces onto the back, you are going to ensure 
that your piece stands up nicely and it won't fall forward. If you glue the Jenga block onto your piece while it's laying down, you may not get the right placement and I found that when I did it that way, my piece tended to fall forward a lot. So just stand your piece up and you'll see that, yes, look, it stands up nicely, just like that. Yes, perfect. See, easy peasy. To this burlap, I'm gonna paint it, I am. Why am I painting burlap instead of just painting the piece itself? Because burlap has textured and I like colored burlap and it gives it a more rustic farmhouse look. And even though this is a tiered tray, I'm still going for that rustic look, even with texture. Look at how cute that carrot came out with just a little bit of detailing and some stitching. I'm feeling like I want to switch things up. This is going to be a purple bunny and boy oh boy is this piece going to be a cute one. Wait until you see what I do with this. This year Crafter Square came out with these adorable mini ornaments. 14 come in a pack. When I saw them at Dollar Tree I snatched up a pack of each of them. These bunnies are adorable. The eggs, oh my goodness wait for it. The carrots are even cuter and the chicks. These are gonna make for such adorable embellishments to add to this tiered tray. So for this bunny, first I'm gonna finish it off with a raffia bow. Yes, I'm going raffia this time instead of twine. And to the back of each of these three bunnies that I painted different colors, cause why not? I'm adding some of Dollar Tree's foam tape or puffy tape because I wanted to elevate these bunnies up off of the bigger bunny. To the center bunny, I'm gonna add three or four layers of the foam tape because look at what I do with these. Look at how cute that is. It gives it dimension and the pink bunny's eye is dripping. I'm gonna have to fix that. Good thing I pointed that out, but yep, I will fix it. But look at how cute this piece turned out using those mini ornaments. For the egg, I wanted to keep it simple. I went in with some yellow and I decorated the egg just like you would any other Easter egg, a regular Easter egg. Although I forgot to press record on that. So here's the finished egg. So easy and such a fun piece to add to our pastel Easter tiered tray. For the next DIY, I'll be using some moss covered bunnies. You're getting three in a pack for $1.25, which is a great buy because Dollar Tree does have the ceramic ones that are about the same size as these that you can paint. But why would you buy those if you can get three in this pack unless you can't get your hands on these moss covered bunnies? then those ceramic ones are a great alternative. I'm gonna give these moss covered bunnies a good coating of some paint. I think that the moss adds texture to it, which then in turn adds personality and character. I'm gonna paint each of these bunnies a different color and I figured I'd go with the colors of green, orange, and purple, because why not? Each of these cute bunnies needs to be finished off with a raffia ribbon around its neck, and why not add a bow as well? The green one was a bit taller and bigger, so I figured that this would be a fun one to add one of those cute carrot ornaments to as well. This DIY is a repeat. I love this one because it adds height to the tear tray, and that's what we want, different heights. Dollar Tree has several of these types of frames, so if you can't find this tulip one, you're good to go with a circle one, a heart one, you pick. Since they had a tulip, tulip scream spring, right? Try and say that three times, that felt like a tongue twister. And so with this, I figured I'd go in with the purple for the flower itself. And of course, the base is gonna be green. Because this is a frame, it needs something to go in it, right? Yes, got that covered. Linda's designed an embellishment pack to go along with this pastel themed Easter tray. These here are the embellishments that I will be using for this here tray. It is a mixture of die cut embellishments and a vinyl decal for those books because I really like the vinyl decals on the books. 
This embellishment pack is available in Linda's Etsy store for instant digital download, which means if you have a Cricut, you're gonna buy that option because it's cheaper. You're gonna download it to your computer, upload it to Cricut Design Space, you're gonna print and cut it out, and you can do that as many times as you'd like. If you don't have a Cricut, well, we've got that covered too. Linda will cut and send it to you with free shipping for the bargain price of $6. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? Mm-hmm, in the description box below. And so this is the die cut embellishment that she has designed to go inside this tulip. Now keep in mind, these embellishments are designed to go with the pieces that I am using on my tiered tray, the color theme also goes along with the colors that I'm using as well, but the vinyl decals are available in black or white, your choice. And so this one is gonna go right in here, but we are not done with this one yet because the stitching is adorable, but the base needs something. And because I have those adorable mini ornaments, yes, these are going to be appearing all over this tiered tray because I cannot stand how stinking cute they are. Okay, seriously, I don't think this frame has ever looked so cute. For this next one, I'm gonna be using one of these wood boxes, wood chest. Guess what, this is a two-in-one DIY. Yeah, we're getting two DIYs with one piece. I'm gonna start off by removing all of the hardware on the box itself. All you need is a mini screwdriver and the hardware comes off fairly easy. I'm gonna start off with the base of the box. You're also gonna need one of these wood cars because I'm gonna utilize the wheel on it. So I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah, you're gonna need some heavy duty scissors to do that. Then I'm just gonna take and place a dot of hot glue on the side of the wheel itself, and I'm gonna place it on the bottom part of my box, because what are we making? A wheelbarrow, how cute is that? It's so fun. I've got some mini popsicle sticks in my stash, so I'm gonna attach them to the other side just like so in the corners. If you don't have mini popsicle sticks, just cut a regular popsicle stick in half. What I'm actually really liking about this tray is all the different colors. And so that was the part I wasn't anticipating having a lot of fun with. And so because I have a variety of colors that I'm incorporating into this tray, I can really make things fun and colorful. And so with this wheelbarrow, I decided to go with the barrel part of it being blue and the tire and the handles are going to be green. Of course, I added some stitching to it and there is an adorable embellishment, die cut embellishment that is going to fit perfectly on the side and on the front. I just had to add one of these adorable carrots. These wood ornaments are the perfect embellishments for tiered trays. I wish that they would come out with them more often. To fill the wheelbarrow up, I decided to incorporate some of the smaller twine carrots. Three of them to be exact. So cute, right? What a fun piece out of those wood boxes. Now for the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and replace some of the hardware. This would be the piece that the latch hooked onto. I'm gonna replace it onto the lid just like so because what am I making? I'm making a front door, why not? This is perfect for that. We utilize all the pieces of this box. I think this door should get a good coating of the yellow paint. And I think for this, I'll go with the yellow and purple theme because why not? very spring. This door has an adorable wreath embellishment that says, welcome spring. How cute is that? Love that. And of course, I'm going to add a purple bunny because why not? I have them, so why not add it? This light box is another fun piece to add to the tray because it adds a light element. So just another element that's a bit different. Love this, count your blessings, is perfect for this spring and Easter tray. So with this, I decided to give it a good coating of this pastel orange. 
And this deserves a raffia bow, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Haha, <laughs> that was totally cheesy. Oh my word. Okay, I better stop. For this tray, I really wanted to try and incorporate pieces that weren't of a seasonal nature from Dollar Tree that come out only for spring and Easter time. And so this cloud is definitely one of those pieces. This is a newer piece at Dollar Tree. They've got a heart as well. I picked up a few of them because I thought that they were such cute pieces to add to trays if I continued on with the series, which I'm doing by popular request. And so because this is a cloud, of course it's gonna get a good coating of some light blue paint and some stitching. For those of you who say that you have a hard time applying the stitching, I find that it is best to water down your paint a bit. It goes on a lot smoother, it's not as thick, and when applying it, the brush that you wanna use is the thinnest bristle brush that you can find so you get those nice, thin, even stitch marks. And that really is, I think, the trick behind adding stitching and take your time. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the more imperfect it is, the more perfect it is. And it adds character. It gives it that quilted look, that handmade quilted look. And for this adorable cloud DIY, the embellishment says spring is in the air. I know, pun intended. These wood plaques were another fun find early on at Dollar Tree. I found a bunny and an egg, and so yes, these two shall be incorporated into this tray. I started off by giving the edges just a quick coating of some pink paint because to the front of these, no, I'm not gonna add burlap, even though I am applying Mod Podge, I decided to go with a printed fabric just to add a bit of a pattern to the tray break things up a bit. And this here is the fabric that I am using to cover the front of these here wood plaques. Haha. <laughs> this is a fat quarter that you can find at Walmart for a dollar. It is sold with their single fat quarters. They have a lot of really fun colors and patterns. And again, that is just what I was hoping to incorporate into the tray by using this fabric. What good are these wood plaques on our tray if they're not gonna stand up? You can't see them lying down. So again, I'm just gonna add some Jenga blocks to the back of them, standing them up, because these two are going to get an embellishment that Linda designed. And again, when I do put these die cut embellishments on the pieces for my tiered tray, I do like to do so using the foam tape because it elevates it up off the piece. It gives it a completely different look when you use the foam tape. It gives it that two dimensional look versus just gluing the embellishment onto the piece itself. And so I personally just like the look of it, but if you don't wanna add the foam tape, you can always glue it just onto the piece itself. And for this egg, this cute embellishment with a couple of the die cut flowers that come in the pack as well. Next up, these dessert glasses. You're getting three in this pack, but we only need two of them, which means you're gonna have an extra one for another tier tray. And with these, I'm gonna give one a good coating of the blue pastel paint. Notice I said pastel, not rustic. And for this one, I'm gonna go with the pastel pink. Now, because this is a thinner acrylic paint, you are going to need a few coats to get full coverage. But as Kayla just enlightened me about, she said, or I can just glob it on because as she has seen me do in some of my videos that she did voiceovers on, she said, I just kind of glob it on. So why not just glob it on or do coats? I actually did coats. I'm not globbing it on with this one. I painted a couple of the mini egg wood ornaments. I didn't show painting them because, in all honesty, I want to say I painted a few of everything before I got started because I knew I'd want to use them and then I just kind of paired them up with the DIYs, truth be told. 
but I thought that these eggs would be such an adorable embellishment to add to what is going to be these Sundays. Now, I had some pink sand in my stash. This was actually an alley stash when we cleaned out a room and I didn't throw it away because I knew I could use it for something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up these glasses. The sand is acting like a space filler. Then taking some Dollar Tree's caulking. Yes, this is a white caulking in the tool section that you can get. This is not a craft item. I'm gonna use this for the whipped cream topping for our shakes slash sundaes. How fun is that? What's great about using caulking is, one, it keeps its shape when it dries, so we've got that permanent cute whipped cream topping look. And two, I don't think there is a two, just one. It keeps its shape and it's budget friendly. It's a dollar for a tube and a little goes a long way. To the pink shake, I added some of the pink sand as you saw, and for the blue one, I did have some blue sand that it looks like I must be digging out right now and looking for. There we go. And so I figured I'd add some blue sand to the top of this one. I had some paper straws that I just hauled from Dollar Tree in the pastel colors. Dollar Tree's got some really cute plates and straws out right now. So I went ahead and cut them down real low and I'm just gonna add them to each of the Sundays. And I thought I'd switch up the colors and add the blue straw to the pink one and the pink straw to the blue one. Oh my word, can I say it? These are so stinking cute. I love these Sundays. Next up, I'm gonna be using these wood drawers, only I'm not using the outer part of the drawer. I'm just using the inner part of the drawer, the drawer itself with this cute butterfly on it. Gave it a quick coating of some blue paint and some stitching to the inside of this pot. I'm going to add some paper towel as filler because I am out of floral foam. I am. I didn't want to stop filming to get it, so yeah. And I'm going to add some moss right in there in the hole of the butterfly because one, I think it's really cute, and two, it, see there is a two for this one, it's going to hide the paper towel. Fun, right? If you don't want the moss to fall out, spray some hairspray. To this pot, I thought it'd be fun to add a carrot, a cute carrot, I love it. You can add a bunny if you want, add a bunny, add a chick. These are flowers that I had in my stash and I thought they'd be perfect. Finished off the top with more moss and look at how cute that spring bouquet is. Birdhouses are nothing new to my tear tray. As most of you know, they are one of my favorite pieces to add. Don't know why, they just are because they are so stinking cute. So to this birdhouse, I decided to start off with some yellow paint and do the house itself yellow and finish the roof off with some green. I went with some orange stitching for this house because I'm adding two of these cute chicks that I painted orange and I thought it'd just kind of tie everything in together. And so right here on the perch, I'm gonna put this first chick and I thought it'd be fun to switch things up a bit and put a second chick right there on the roof of the house. How fun is this piece? And of course, we can't forget that the top of this birdhouse needs a raffia bow. What a fun addition to this birdhouse, putting a new spin on it, adding these cute little chicks. Next up, found this cute spring decor egg with the letter B. They had several eggs with several different letters on them, so I picked up B for, hmm, I wonder. This yellow isn't the right color, so I'm gonna give this egg a quick makeover, making it suit our pastel tiered tray. Ah, perfect just the makeover that this egg needed. How about this wood thankful decor piece? Only this piece was in my stash and it is broken and missing a light. So I figured, you know what? I really want the word thankful on here. So I'm just gonna take this apart and utilize it for the front part that just says thankful. Cause why not? And to this, it's gonna get a good couple coats of the pastel pink paint and I think some purple stitching will fit it nicely, along with, why not, a blue bunny at the bottom. On the back side, I did add a couple of Jenga blocks so I could stand this piece up as well. 
Next up, if you take a one by four piece of lumber and cut it into five inch pieces, you're gonna make yourself some books to add to that tiered tray. I like to do my books in three different colors. So for these books, I'm gonna go with blue, yellow, and orange. These books got some stitching in the colors of white and purple. And this one has the vinyl decal that says, Happy Easter, everybody. Now remember, this vinyl is available in white and black. And instead of going with a twine bow on top, I figured I'd finish it off with three of these adorable carrots. I typically add a strand of beads to my tray, but this time I wanted to do a garland. And so using this burlap ribbon, I cut it to about 24 inches, which is two feet. And on each end, I'm gonna just kinda hot glue a loop there on each end. It doesn't have to be very big at all. And to this banner, yes, I'm gonna add these adorable wood ornaments, these mini wood ornaments. How cute are these? What a fun alternative to the beads. I really love the way the beads look when they're done, but truth be told, it is my least favorite piece to add to the tray because I really dread painting the beads. I love adding them, but painting those beads is the biggest pain. I put them on pipe cleaner, I paint them, but it is just a pain. And so I thought that it would be fun to switch it up and make a cute garland. Oh my word, that turned out so stinking cute. I can't wait to see it on the tray. Dollar Tree's got these really cool wood blocks. They come in several different shapes. We've got a circle, a square, and this shape here. These are easy to DIY and incorporate into any tier tray just by painting it to suit that tray theme. These would be a great alternative for the books as well. If you don't want to have lumber cut, you can use this shape book and stack three of them and you'd have books if you don't mind the decorative edge. I think it would still be a fun piece to add. But to this piece, I am going to give it, you see what color I'm painting it, this pastel purple. Because what is the theme of this tray? Not rustic. It's a pastel themed tray and I am loving all the cuteness. To this, I'm gonna add a die cut embellishment that Linda designed using my foam tape to adhere it and it says spring and how fun is that die cut? I am loving the colors. And to this, I painted one of these cute little wood chicks yellow just to bring out the yellow in the die cut and cover up the hole because I didn't use spackling. Look at how cute that is. Rolling pin, this is another one that is a repeat item. You can find these rolling pins on Amazon. Link is in the description box below for my Amazon store. Painted it orange with some cream stitching and thought it'd be fun to add a yellow carrot. Are there yellow carrots? I know there's purple ones. Yes, a yellow carrot. How cute is that? I love this. Another repeat item are these tags. You get 24 of them in a pack for a dollar, so why not add it onto every tray? It's a fun, cute, easy piece to add. And guess what? You can paint paper, cardstock. Yes, you can. And it comes out just fine. So to this, I gave it a good coating of the orange paint, followed by some cream stitching and an adorable die cut tag that says Easter. I am loving the background in that Easter. How spring and fun is it? And of course, a yellow chick to cover up that hole there. Yep, I'm not even adding string to this tag. I think it's fun just the way it is. So stinking cute. Last up, I picked up one of these house shadow boxes that Dollar Tree just started carrying again, at least mine anyway. Thought it would be adorable just to add some pink to the background, the green to the outside, add some stitching, and a good excuse to add more of these adorable mm -hmm, mini wood ornaments. I thought I'd hang a carrot from the peak of the house there and do a rabbit in each corner. And to the inside of this, Linda did a die cut embellishment. What a fun piece. What a fun piece to close with. Let's go take a look at this tier tray all put together.
Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Brenda Cochran, who's bringing to us this oldie but goodie, a recreation of my DIY candle holders. These were for a wedding centerpiece. It was a subscriber request, I wanna say five years ago, and to this day, it is still one of my favorite Dollar Tree DIYs. Thank you, Brenda, so much for bringing back this oldie but goodie and sharing your recreation with us today. Kayla's uploaded today, and today she is bringing to you part two of this cute spring weekly planner. It's a bullet journal for April. If you're doing the bullet journal with her, even if you're not, follow along with this series because it is a fun one. You can find the link to Kayla's video today mm -hmm, in the description box below. Okay, I didn't think that I was a pastel person, but once I got going on this tray, I got so sick and excited about it, the inspiration just came to me. And I tell you, I probably could have added 10 more DIYs onto this because they just started coming to me and I had to stop myself. But this tray nonetheless is amazing. I love how it turned out and I hope you all who requested this video like how it turned out as well. A couple weeks ago, I did a video where I showed all of the tiered trays that I had done this last year, and I asked you all if you wanted this series to continue on, or if you were just kind of done with it and we just needed to leave it be now because it has been about a year and we've done just about every holiday, I'd say, but by popular request there again, everybody said continue on with the tray, that there are so many more fun themes that we can do. And so guess what? The tier tray series is not coming to an end. It is going to continue on. So the next two trays you can expect to be seeing are a farmhouse themed tier tray and a birthday themed tier tray. After that, I believe it's either going to be a bumblebee or a sunflower themed tier tray, maybe even a watermelon. Those are five that we have to look forward to that I get to work on, that I get to start collecting items for, keeping my eye open for those items at Dollar Tree. I hope you all enjoyed this pastel Easter and spring tiered tray for 2022. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up. And let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am.